Now, in other news, there has been a remarkable discovery. Scientists have created complete models of human embroids and no, not with sperms or even eggs and even without a womb. They have been able to create this marvel from stem cells. The embroid even released hormones that turned a pregnancy test positive in the lab. The researchers at the Wesman Institute of Science in Israel call it a textbook example of a real 14-day-old embryo. First, let's break down the formation of this embryo model. Instead of a sperm and an egg, the starting material was stem cells. These stem cells were reprogrammed to gain the potential to become any type of tissue in the body. Chemicals were then used to manipulate these stem cells into becoming four types of cells which are found in the earliest stage of a human embryo. First, the epiblast cells which become the fetus. Second, the trophoblast cells which become the placenta. Then the hypoblast cells which become the supportive yolk sac and finally the extra embryonic mesoderm cells a total of 120 of these cells were mixed in a precise ratio and then the scientists waited for it to develop now why is this study so important this discovery was made to study human post implantation development in an ethical way Secondly, this way one can study the earliest moments of human lives and it will moreover help shed light on the so far unknown causes of miscarriage. The ability to study the model also happens to be limited due to ethical and technical challenges as it is illegal to test an embryo past the 14 day stage. The closer these models come to an actual embryo, the more ethical questions they will raise.